Lambda functions in Python tend to intimidate people way more than they should. They are a very cool and short way of generating Python function objects. Lambda originally comes from the Lisp language that has a similar functionality. They are also called anonymous functions. It's because by using lambda expression, you return the function without assigning it any name. Like in functions, we use the keyword def. In lambda functions, we assign the keyword lambda. The way we mention parameters inside the parentheses of a function to pass arguments, in lambda, we would directly add those arguments after the lambda keyword. Finally, the way we return an expression in a normal function, for lambdas, we would directly write the return expressions without using any keyword. Let's see these in action. Here you can see, I have a normal function square that takes in a parameter x and returns the square of that parameter. So here we are returning x into x. To convert this into lambda function, all we have to do is say square equal to lambda and then the argument x and then colon and then we have to say this return statement basically. So here I can just copy this and put it here. Now if I go ahead and print square 2, Python is going to return me 4. You know what? Let's We are getting this kind of uh, 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 notification because we have the same function here. Let's call it something else. We'll call it square underscore 2. And now if I go ahead and try with some other number, we are going to get 25. So great. This is how lambda functions basically work. Now you can also have a lambda function nested inside a normal function. Let me give you an example. Let's write a function called greetings that returns hello along with the name of the person. So here I can define a function called greetings. And then inside the function I will say start word underscore word equal to hello. Then I am going to define a lambda function called greet and say lambda y. I just need one argument and I will say start plus string of y. So basically what it is going to do is whatever argument we pass it is going to convert it into string and then add concatenate to, to our start, uh, start underscore word and then return it. And then I am going to return greet. Now in outside the function I can say result equal to greetings and now if I print you know what let's first print the type of result what we are getting and then let's print result and then we are going to say Lenin. So now if I run this you will see it returns the type of the result is a function so basically we are returning the function and it is printing hello Lenin when I pass Lenin as a parameter or an argument inside our result function. If I actually put a space here and run it, it is going to say properly. Yeah, so hello space Lenin. Did you see that? We returned a lambda function from inside a normal function. Does that remind you of anything? It's the concept of Python closures that we have discussed earlier. If you haven't yet checked out Python closures, you will find the link at the end of this video and in the description link below. Now why should we use lambda? The truth is function objects returned by lambda run the same way as those created and assigned by devs. But there are a few things that make lambda really useful in specific roles. Number one, lambda is not a statement, it's an expression. Therefore, syntactically they can be used in places where Python wouldn't allow a norm normal function to be present. For example, here are some places that have used lambda function. They are used inside lists, inside dicts, etc. Ideally, you won't be able to put a def function in there. Number two, also by using defs, 
you need to assign names to these functions so the names might clash of course it's highly unlikely however still possible now remember one thing lambda functions are a single line of code they are not a block of statements so in cases where you need to do operations which need more than one line of code just use a normal function don't waste your time figuring out how you can convert every normal function into a lambda function it's irrelevant and highly inefficient now since there is single expression it is difficult to get as much logic as you would want into a lambda function therefore to implement more logic you have to code more statements as expression based equivalents inside the lambda function let me show you an example of what i mean let's look at our general if else statements the general syntax is if a then do b else do c right so b and c here can be a print statement a return statement anything now this can be emulated by this rough equivalent expression i can say b if a else c so this would be an equivalent expression of basically depicting this if else statement now let's go ahead and use this in our lambda function now i want to improve our lambda function where it returns hello along with the name of the person i also want to say whether the person is male or female so here what i can do is here instead of lambda y i can say lambda x comma y then here instead of say, uh, saying string y i can say string x and i can pass in here some keyword that represents male or female for now we can just go with m or an f we are just experimenting with lambda so doesn't matter what we do so here i can put in m and here i can use the if else equivalent expression i can say start plus mr plus string x if y equal to m else i can just copy this again instead of mr now i can say miss that's it so now we are saying if y is m then return me start plus mr plus string x so hello mr the name else return me hello miss and the name so let's now go ahead and experiment with this and see what we get so now if i print result lenin and uh, lenin is male i can go ahead and see that it is returning me hello mr lenin instead of m if i say f then it is going to return me hello miss lenin now remember this uh, lambda function is no way close to being perfect we are just experimenting here for example here if i say a which doesn't mean anything at the moment it still says hello miss lenin because of the else clause so we need to improve this lambda function the logic inside this lambda function this code can be further improvised by using python built in functions like map filter and reduce you can also have loops inside of a lambda function for that purpose you can embed built in python functions like map filter reduce and list comprehensions into the lambda function we will discuss about this in our next tutorials now it's time to practice go ahead to google classrooms using the link and join my classroom with this code there you can find questions that you need to practice to completely understand the concept of lambda functions You can also find the links in the description below. Remember, the more you practice, the better you become. If you have any doubts about any concepts in Python, ping me on any of the social media platforms that I am a part of. The links for my profile are also in the description. Thank you everyone. I will see you in the next tutorials.